occasionally if someone's asking like what I do, I'll just say, you know, I'm one of the teachers at um, Station Camp and I do the plant science pathway and I'll mention the baskets because everyone knows what they are. And they're like, oh, we always wondered where those come from. So I think what a lot of people don't realize is you'll actually end up cutting a hole in this fabric and then you'll insert the plants. So they kind of actually hang out the side. So once you have your fabric cut, then you'll fill it with soil. You have this tube here in the middle and that's actually how um, the plants will get water. We'll fill that up with water. Um, so these tubes actually, they have holes in them. So again, when you're giving water in the tube, there's other holes so the water can come out. Um, there's also holes in the bottom or it just doesn't have a bottom because the basket has holes in the bottom of it. So it drains that way. Well, we do a layer of dirt or soil, and then we do a little layer of fertilizer, and then more dirt, fertilizer, and then we do top coat of soil just underneath this so it has room. One has already bloomed. Oh. Uh, so this is royal velvet. It's your returning color from last year. Um, we also have um, another uh, really red, and then these border some different colors. We have latte, and then we also have a Picasso in purple. So it's like a brighter purple with like a lime green edging. So it'll be really interesting to see how they all mesh this year. There's four colors instead of three. This is the first year that we've done four colors instead of three. So um, there's no pattern this year. Um, so we'll see how they all look. Kind of rotate it and go to the next one. So it's really cool that they get to see it from beginning to end. Um, you know, even when they drive around the square in the summer, they're like, oh, I'll put those together. 